the Moon, an astronomical body that has vexed flat earthers since day one. But does that stop them making up theories for their models about the Moon? No, no it does not. And today we're going to look at one of the best ones yet. And of course, when I say best, I obviously mean worst. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, I want to give a quick nod to Busu, who are sponsoring today's video. Busu is an AI-powered language learning platform on web, iOS and Android that allows users to interact with native speakers from around the world. You can learn up to 12 different languages with Busu and it's free to sign up. But what really sets it apart is the ability to connect with native speakers within the 100 million learners of the Busu community. There are conversation exercises that let you use what you've learned straight away. And you can get feedback from native speakers on your writing and speaking. I've been learning a bit of Spanish as I've always wanted to be able to hold a conversation in Spanish. I've already figured out how to greet someone and ask how they're doing. Hola, me llamo Simon Dan, encantado. Any Spanish speakers out there, please do rate my greeting and be nice. Sign up for free or upgrade to premium to unlock all the features. The link for that will be in the description. Right, back to today's video, which was selected by my patrons in the monthly poll. So thanks very much to them. If you'd like to get involved in all that as well and vote in a poll, then I'll put a link in the description for my Patreon. There's a poll up right now to vote for next month's video. Well, what is this video I hear you ask? Well, Mikey Smith has made a video which apparently has proof that the moon is only 50 miles away. Hmm. This should be good. Come on then, Mikey. Shock us all. Okay, you're recording now. Okay, so... Okay, folks, uh, I need to see where I am here on the camera. Uh, you can see the moon in behind me. I'm filming. Uh, my theory is that the moon is a lot less than uh, probably closer than 50 miles away. 50 miles? That is a startling claim. I do hope you have some evidence for this. I have my uh, 3000 watt uh, laser. This is what I've been... Uh, holding back from everybody. I keep telling everybody about this experiment, so that's what it looks like. A 3,000 watt laser. I think he means, of course, a 3,000 milliwatt laser, which of course is three watts. Unless he's found a power source which can somehow smash through 3,000 joules a second. It has a visible range of 18 miles. Um, it is currently uh, Thursday night. June 4th, is that correct, Joanne? Yeah. Okay, and uh, so, yeah, just, we got the horizon in the background here, and um, I'll just flip it over, and we are going to do an experiment with the laser. Oh, an experiment, exciting. So if you can see the, in relation to, actually the sun has just set here, uh, in the background or wherever it is there. Somewhere in there. What is he doing? But can't see anything. Uh, but yeah, so we've got the, you can see the, ooh, I zoomed in too far there. Uh, I've been hearing lots of people explain why they think the moon is even 3,000 miles away, and I would disagree with that. As would I, Mikey. As would I. But we are here tonight, and I'm going to provide some proof, I guess, that hopefully we can get this laser to go to the moon, and I have done that with a previous video already. He wants his 3-watt laser to reach the moon. It's just I have not posted it, or maybe it's... Uh, so it's going to take me a while here to get things focused. Uh, I need a better 
tripod head here. So annoying that earth rotation, isn't it? Um, it may take me a while, like I said. Uh, and I am not manipulating this video in any way, of course. As you can tell, that is the real moon. And I just need to adjust this a little bit. Oh, this is cringe. Really, really not awkward at all. So we have the laser on and it does take me a while to get this thing to um, show up on the camera. I don't know why this happens, so hopefully we can get it to work at some point here. Oh, maybe because it's just a three watt laser and the moon is very bright, maybe. Um, it took me like five minutes just to get this light to show up near the moon. Uh, I am pointing the laser at the moon. It just takes a long time. I'm sure you are, buddy. I'm sure you are. To show up on the camera. Um, I can kind of see a blue tinge there on the side. Uh, but like I said, it just I don't know if it's the angle or the due to perspective how it why it takes so long to show up out there somewhere and oh there it goes oh exciting i saw it so there we go there's my laser going towards the moon there. And it looks like I'm not even doing it myself, like in relation to what I'm watching on the camera. But that is my laser. Um, we're losing the moon here, Mikey. I don't know why it shows up like that, but we'll adjust again the camera. Bloody hell, Earth, can you just stop rotating for like one minute so Mikey can shine his laser on the moon, please? Maybe we can get it on this side. It's just, oh, I gotta get a better. So this laser heats up after a minute or two or a couple minutes. It's kind of, like I said, it's kind of weird. Like, I'm pointing it literally at the moon, at least from what I could tell. And it's almost like a delay. That's not your only issue, Mikey. Or... I don't know what it is, but... <laughs> I'm doing what I can to get the laser there I'll try to get it there one more time I don't know if it's because when the moon goes to the right there it starts to show up there it is Yeah, it's not working, is it? Mikey decides to zoom out a bit and try again. Oh, there. There it works. So there's my 
moon footage of the 18 mile laser footage and as you can see it looks like it's going actually behind the moon too um, so I would like some ideas and perspectives or opinions on what's happening here and everything is a-okay so this laser is an 18 mile visibility range of like the visible range of 18 miles that you can visibly see the laser and it is going to the moon and possibly around or beside the moon so let's get together and spread this video that it is not 240,000 miles away finally he's done it except he hasn't first off there's no way that your laser is powerful enough to reach the moon laser pointers especially cheap ones have a beam which diverges at a distance and of course the one you have has only got a range of 18 miles even if your laser was powerful enough to reach a moon by the time it reached there the laser would be spread over an area half the size of texas with the same light intensity of course secondly what you're seeing there is purely the laser interacting with the particles in the earth's atmosphere an atmosphere which is vastly closer to you than the moon is look at this photo here no reasonable person would say look out your boat is about to crash into the sun you understand that because of perspective the boat is vastly closer to you than it is the sun this is quite possibly the most feeble attempt to prove anything about the moon it really is shocking well there we go let's hope mikey can learn from this and move on to something a bit more productive Oh dear, clearly not. Thank you all very much for watching today. That brings an end to another Flat Earth Friday. Thanks to my patrons again for voting for that video. Just enough time to again thank Busu for sponsoring today's video. Remember, link is in the description to sign up for that. Please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed it today. It'd be thoroughly appreciated. I have been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great weekend and I'll see you all Tuesday for some more tinfoil fun. See you then.